Hi, my name is Tim Tetrick, and I'm a partner technology strategist with Microsoft. And I'd like to do a quick demonstration of what the user experience is like using Exchange hosted encryption for both sending and receiving encrypted emails. So Exchange hosted encryption uses policy-based encryption to encrypt outgoing messages at the server based on policy rules that the administrator creates. Uh, these policy rules can be configured a number of different ways. For example, you can create a policy rule to encrypt all emails that are going to a specific domain or all emails that come from a particular individual or group. Uh, you can also set policy rules to look inside the email for sensitive information like credit card numbers or social security numbers and then, and then encrypt based on that. So customers really have a wide range of policy rules available to them for determining which emails leaving their organization will get encrypted. In this example uh, that I'm going to show here uh, right now, we've created a policy rule that will encrypt any outgoing email that has the words secure mail in the subject. So here we have uh, uh, an email. Uh, in this case, I'm logged in as the sender, Alex Darrow. I have this email from Darina that I want to forward on uh, to someone outside my organization. Um, that's going to be Karen Berg at Outlook.com. And again, I would like this email to be encrypted through Exchange Hosted Encryption. So I'm going to use that policy rule that says whenever the words secure mail show up in the subject, um, I can know that the policy rule will hit and this email will be in, uh, outgoing email will be encrypted. So there I've added secure mail to the subject uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and send this email. Okay, so now let's go over to uh, Karen Berg's uh, email and we can see here that that, uh, that email from Alex has arrived in uh, her inbox. Um, instead of the actual email arriving, we can see that it has been encrypted through Exchange Hosted Encryption, uh, letting us know uh, that this is a secure encrypted message. To view this secure message, open the attachment and follow the instructions. So what I'm going to do is open this attachment. Uh, from here, letting me know, again, Exchange Hosted Encryption, click Read Message to open this secure mail. Uh, the receiver is going to click Read Message. And then they're going to go out. If this is the first time they've used Exchange Hosted Encryption, it's going to ask them to create uh, an account and a password. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that out. Put in a password. And then I'm going to say Continue. So at this point, it lets me know. Check your email. You've been sent a message to your email account with this particular subject. When you receive the message, click on the link to verify your email address. So this is where we're going to verify who we are. Uh, there's that email that just came in. Verifying that. Let's take a look at that. So it lets us know here. Uh, welcome, Karen Berg. Follow the link below to verify your email address. And so we're going to click that email. And then there we go. We see the encrypted uh, contents of the message right here. Um, from here I can go ahead and reply. I can uh, reply all. I can forward. Any action I take here will continue to keep this message encrypted and anyone that it goes to will have to um, authenticate and verify who they are, set up an account, set up a password uh, to be able to do that. Now in the case that I already have an account set up, so that's the experience that we just looked at with some that, someone that's using Exchange Hosted Encryption for the very first time. But once I've set up that account, I can close this and we'll go back and look at this uh, and say that I go back to this email or I get another encrypted email, it will look this, uh, this very same way. I'll still go ahead and open this uh, attachment. I'm still going to say read the message. But in this case, I'm going to go straight to uh, the encrypted message. In certain cases, I'll be asked to add my password. Uh, but uh, in general, we'll not have to go through the whole process of creating the account. That's only the first time. Okay, so that's it. Uh, hopefully that gives you a good um, overall perspective of what the user experience is like with using Exchange Hosted Encryption. Thanks.